How's it going guys? My name is Dice. Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'm going to be telling you guys everything you need to know to get out of the rank you're stuck in. This goes anywhere from Bronze to Supersonic Legend. And uh, just to preface, um, this isn't exactly specific to your gameplay because I don't know you as a person, right? I don't have your replay right in front of me. I don't know your play style. These are just general rules of thumb. Um, just help the average guy get out of their rank or gal. So, uh, yeah, first things first, bronze. Um, I honestly wouldn't say work, don't work on game sense until about gold, and I'll explain why. So, no one in the lobby, no one in any bronze lobby has game sense, right? So, using you being the only person with game sense wouldn't work because they wouldn't be rotating, so there'd be no point in you rotating. It's just super weird. So, I'd say from bronze. To gold, you want to work on mechanics. So bronze, just work on, you know, dribbling, flicking, really basic flicks, nothing crazy. You know, just a front foot flick, a bit flick tutorial if you're interested in that. But yeah, I mean, that's all, just basic mechanics for bronze. Um, silver, same thing, right? Just basic mechanics will get you out of silver very easily. You know, just flicks, maybe shots. We're not even into the power shots yet, so just basic shots would work. And then gold. So gold is where it's a little bit complicated because for some people, for some gold lobbies, there's, you know, actually a decent amount of game sense being applied. So what I would say is start to, you know, rotate back, right? Like don't just keep going for the ball, especially if you're playing twos or threes. Um, you know, make a 50, make a challenge, and then rotate back, right? You don't need to keep chasing because, you know, they're golds. So they're not SSL. So like eventually they're going to make a mistake. So you just sit back, you wait, maybe they'll overcommit. Maybe they'll, you know, try to aerial and maybe something like that. And they'll miss, leave the net open and you shoot the open net. You can just wait and seize the opportunity. But for plat, there's actually a good amount of mechanics start to come into play, right? So for plat, a lot of people can aerial. Um, a lot of people can flick, you know, a lot of people can dribble. But what the problem is with other with most plats is there's an inconsistency factor, right? So a lot of plats, like they'll you know try to like flip reset or like air drill, but they can't do it. So then they'll just miss and it leaves you with an open net once again. So just really focusing on you know like having game sense in these ranks, um, plat especially because a lot of people are just going to mess up inevitably being a plat, and so you just wait for them to make the mistake. Like you just play defense for a little bit, they'll make the mistake, you've been up in that. It's very simple. Diamond is where it gets pretty complicated because a lot of the times there's good diamond players out there, right? That aren't going to make the mistakes so obvious. Like they're going to make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, but they're not going to make, um, a lot of the time they're not going to make mistakes that will um, result in a goal directly. Right, like maybe they'll you know miss a boost or something, but they're not going to miss like an aerial or an air dribble or something like that. So in diamond, you just have to you have to use your teammates, right? So you have to learn how to play with your teammates. Um, if you're playing twos, obviously ones is a different story. Ones diamond is just playing fundamentals, but twos and threes diamonds is just you know playing with your team, um, you know like going for passing plays and things like that. Champ, so I have a few videos on this in Champ. Champ is probably like one of the hardest ranks to get out of if you're actually Champ. Obviously, if you're smurfing, you can get out of Champ pretty easily. But the thing is with Champ is there's such a variety of players. Like when I was solo queuing Champ, like to see how hard it was to get out, I was getting like from the worst teammates ever to like pretty solid guys on my team. So Champ is one of those where you just have to have a good mentality, right? You just have to grind it out. Um, I mean, I, I hate saying that because that's kind of like a bland, stubborn answer, but like you just got to play, you know, use your teammates, you know, have have mechanics down, start going for air dribbles, um, start going for aerials, you know, utilize 1v1s, don't leave your teammates in 2v1s, just, you know, fundamentals. Um, to get out of Grand Champ, there's a huge difference between Grand Champion 1 and Grand Champion 3. Um, a lot of people I know are in Grand Champion 3 for like uh like years like at least a year most people that get to grand champ three they can't go from gc3 to ssl that's how big the difference is like so the time it takes to get from like plat to gc is the same time it takes to get from like gc3 to ssl which is crazy so how to get out of gc1 is i mean it's very similar to like high champ 
it's you know just playing fundamentals using your team don't leave your teammate in a 2v1 you know make the right decisions right like if if you finish a play like if you go for like a i don't know a flick they save it and you're rotating back instead of rotating directly back go for a bump right because that throws one of them out of the play if you get the bump and even if you don't get the bump they jump so they're out of position Right, so it's like doing these small things really add up. Right, if you're low on boost, playing for for the little pads for 12 boosts each, like for those boosts, what 48 boosts right there for four pads. So I mean, it's just the little things that count, and the little things add up really, really far. Right, so I mean, and to get out of like Grand Champ three, or you know, to go from like low SSL to pro level, um, you want to be playing scrims, right, because Ranked really isn't going to do anything for the long in the long run, right? I mean, it's just like it, it doesn't mean anything, right? Ranked doesn't mean anything. Um, what does mean things is your actual, you know, ability to coordinate with three players or to, I guess two other players in 3v3 and, you know, playing other teams. So you need to be, you know, playing six mans, you know, playing scrims, getting your name out there. Maybe play like smaller community scrims um, to get connections. Um, that's pretty much the way to get like to pro level. And the thing is with being a pro is there's a time and place, right? Like some players that are pros now, like if they tried it like a random time, they probably couldn't go pro because it all depends on like, you know, the time you try the teams, everything like that. So yeah, I mean, just remember to stay patient um, for grand champ two, like getting from grand champ two to grand champion three, it's pretty much the same thing as GC one, but you're going to need to have some, you don't need to, but it's good to have some mechanics at your arsenal, right? Like you could either, you know, go for like, you don't need to have more mechanics than a single flip reset, which I mean, that's not hard at all. I just posted like a double flip reset tutorial, but I mean the single, you'll see it's like super easy to do consistently. So what I would say is, uh, you know, just being able to have like three to four mechanics at your arsenal, right? Like a single flip reset, an air dribble, a flick, and then I'd put air dribble bump in there as well, because that's actually really beneficial to your gameplay. Um, and I mean, yeah, so, and from GC3 to SSL, this one's actually really hard. Because <laughs> um, I'm usually like GC2, GC3 right now. I'm not really grinding too much. I've been focusing on these videos, but... Like to get out of GC3, you just gotta grind the game. <laughs> you gotta be playing the game a lot um, to get out of GC3 because most, at least in upper GC3, like in twos, like 1800 to like 1865, 1875 is SSL. It's a bunch of SSLs because when you're up there, there's not many, that's like 0.01 of the player base. So you're gonna queue into other SSLs. So you really just gotta stow up your game, you know, perfect, like watch your replays, perfect everything that you're doing wrong. Honestly, queue with someone, I'd say. I know I said in another video, if you're like above GC2, you don't need a queue with someone, you can still queue, but it would just make the journey a lot easier, you know, like not having like randoms on your team, um, having someone that you actually have good chemistry with, you know, you're calming, you when to go, that kind of thing. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my recent videos. I'm streaming on Twitch at um, twitch.tv slash dice PR. Um, the link is in the description. I also have a chill discord community. I'll put that link in the description as well. And I've been posting on TikTok as well, trying to get to a thousand followers over there. We're at about 950 right now. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.